Next up, this news that I love. Uh, Saints Row the Third Remastered. PS5 release is coming next week. This was actually news to me until like, just like a half hour before recording. <laughs> yeah, like, it, it kind of... It... I didn't think Saints Row the Third was going to see... You know, here's my theory. I feel like Saints Row the Third is going to get the same treatment that The Witcher 3 is getting. It's going to show up on every freaking system and console till the end of time. Well, <laughs> that is the best what? Saints Row. So that is true. That makes that sense. Is true. I was I was gonna ask. I wish Nelly was on here too because I was gonna ask because I've never played a Saints Row game. I was gonna ask if this was the best one. If this was the one that everyone is, wants remastered. And this, this is, is the, the best, best one. one. This is the yeah. best one. Okay. Tra- take take it from me. Take it from me. I've I've never been a fan of games like these because Saints Row is definitely a rip off of Grand Theft Auto. Well, mm-hmm. actually, no, no. Let me let me rephrase that. Saints Row is a competitor to Grand Theft Auto, and I've never been a big fan of, Gr- of the Grand Theft Auto series. So. When I saw the ad campaign for Saints Row the Third, I was like, you know what? I'll give this game a chance. It was the <laughs> that game was that game was bonkers. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah. I, and I, and I loved every second of it. There was a there was a thing in Saints Row the Third where uh, back then you could you could tie it into your social you could you could connect your PlayStation account to your to your to your social media account, and every time uh-huh. you did and every time you did something, got an achievement or you know or got an in game achievement, not so much an achievement for the trophy system, an in game achievement because there's like that's a million, right, yeah, oh, there's like a million yeah. different. It would it would it would hit your social media. <laughs> people got pissed at me. Oh. <laughs> people got pissed at me when they were seeing notifications that killed sixty people with the dildo bat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stuff that like that. Terrible, actually. That sounds <laughs> terrible. I was gonna Do say you... your mom's not on Facebook. Oh, Facebook. she was not. She was not on Facebook at the time. Thank That's God. She's on good. Facebook now. She's on Facebook now, and I, I'd stay away from it. <laughs> but... That's probably good. <laughs> but I, I, I kid you. I kid you not. Like I mean, Saints Row the Third be- became like the therapy I needed at that time. Let's put it that way. <laughs> no, yeah. Honestly, it's. You could call it a direct competitor to like Grand Theft Auto, but I think it stands out completely. Oh yeah, oh definitely. And you know, and the, and, the, and the crazy part is like the story is so over the top, but the but honestly, the story it, is what you wind up playing for. Mm-hmm, yeah, and it's got I some think of the most like iconic scenes in a game, like you know, uh, parachute dropping onto the top of a high rise, uh, you know, condo while listening to Power by Kanye West. I mean. I'm not a fan of Kanye West, but that was still probably like that was some good. That was that some song. good stuff. Right. Yeah, that, that, yeah. Story. Mm-hmm. Remember, remember when you had to like break out the pimp? Yeah. And and your own people drug you and sold you to our whorehouse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's right. yeah. Just for you to get on the inside. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh my god. I'm having I'm having nothing but good memories thinking about this. I may have to read. I may have to. This Put is going to be like the fourth or fifth time buy buying. Guys? Yeah. <laughs> this is the you get it for PS5. Yeah, yeah. As a matter of fact, hold on. Let me let, hold on, hold on. Let me let me break into this because we haven't even talked about the blurb yet. <laughs> <laughs> Deep Silver has confirmed that Saints Row the Third Remaster will get a PS5 release on May 25th, 2021, with a free upgrade available for all existing owners of the PS4 edition. This version of the game will run at a dynamic 4K resolution at 60 frames per second. Loading times will be improved thanks to the SSDs uh, of, the, of the PS5, and a DualSense controller will glow purple to represent the Saints. That being said, it doesn't it doesn't look like the game will utilize the controller's unique haptic feedback and adaptive triggers. But so just be aware of that. But you know what? The fact that this thing is gonna be glowing something other than orange or blue. Oh my God! I can only imagine like if they <laughs> what they would do if they had the haptic feedback features with. Yeah, <laughs> they they really want my money. Yeah, re- I, I wonder what it's. I wonder what it's going to be priced at. If it, if it, if it's priced at forty dollars, I will buy it. <laughs> I think it, I I honestly think it would be. I mean, I would think it would be less. I think they can't. Be- they can't get away of making it seventy dollars. They can't. They mm-hmm. can't. And and fifty or sixty dollars is a stretch for me. Like thirty or forty dollars is the sweet spot. And thirty dollars means that they only. If the game comes out at thirty bucks, that means there's only limited editions of the game. So if you see it brand new on the shelf for thirty bucks, you need to snatch it up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll just put it that way. <laughs> Saints Row Saints Row the Third Remaster is available right now on PS4 and is playable on the PS5 via backwards compatibility. The mm-hmm. native PS5 version, reminder, the native PS5 version releases on May the twenty fifth. So get cracking, trust me. When we say it's one, of, when we say it's the best Saints Row game, it is the best it Saints is Row the game. Best, best soundtrack, best moments. Yes. Um, 
uh, auditor in the chat kind of reminded me because it's this is Pat from my podcast. Uh, he ha- encountered a trophy glitch with the PS4 remaster, where yeah. if you actually put the game to sleep, um, and then restarted it again, like after sleep mode, it wouldn't unlock trophies after that, and they oh. never fixed it. Oh. Is that for so, the is that for the original or the PS4? That's for the PS4 remaster. Oh, so not cool. I remember Pat loves his freaking trophies. He goes after them trophies. Like, oh yeah, well yeah. Pat's a man of my own heart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you get you get it how yeah. irritated he was. He was like, I don't even want to play oh, this game yeah. anymore. And I was like, come on, man, it's a good game. But yeah, I feel it. <laughs> oh, a broken trophy list will turn me off of the game. Like it'll straight up turn me off. Like I'll be like, yeah. Mm. Especially if I'm playing on PlayStation, because, like, that's, like, a big thing for me is why I don't play more uh, indie games on Switch is, like, hmm, I can't get trophies on here. Mm-hmm. You <laughs> I can't you get and... trophies on my Switch. Okay, honestly, you and Pat are the same person. <laughs> <laughs> the same person in terms of that. That's wild.